Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in men and women combined as it can be difficult to detect in early stage. But when this cancer is detected in the early stage, the recovery rate can be as high as 90%. You can detect rectal cancer by watching for symptoms and signs of the disease and by getting screening tests done by your doctor. So what is colorectal cancer? Colorectal carcinoma or colorectal cancer is a cancer of large intestine and or rectum. So if you look at the gastrointestinal system, you can see here is the intestine. The blue part is small intestine and the yellow part is large intestine which has several parts like ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon and eventually the rectum. So any part of the large intestine and rectum may be involved in this cancer. So what are the risk factors of colon cancer? There are several risk factors we can count. However, the most important one is older age. The chances of having colon cancer increases with age. There are other risk factors like history of inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, family history of colorectal cancer or colorectal polyps. Approximately 5% of cases are attributed to genetic causes such as family adenomatous polyposis and Lynch syndrome. Some lifestyle factors may also contribute to an increased risk of colorectal cancer like low fiber and high fat diet, a low diet in fruit and vegetables, lack of regular physical exercise, alcohol consumption and tobacco use. Now let's discuss about the signs and symptoms of colon cancer. Change in bowel habits including constipation or diarrhea that last more than few days. You may also have difficulty emptying your bowels completely and experience discomfort when you have a bowel movement. These are usually symptoms of other less serious problems but they can also be a symptom of colon cancer. If these symptoms are seen above the age of 50 then it could be a warning sign of colorectal cancer. You may also have stools that appear narrower than usual or have a different size or shape than normal. If there is an obstruction then the path of passing stool become narrow. The stool has to pass through this narrow area which changes its shape. Sometimes the shape of this stool is pencil shaped. The size and shape of the stool varies according to the size of tumor. Bright red blood or blood in your stool that makes it look dark brown or black can also be associated with colon cancer. Other health problems can also cause bleeding in digestive tract but if you start to experience bloody stool then see your doctor immediately to rule out a serious condition. Remember this is one of the most common early warning signs of colorectal cancer. Notice if you have pain in your rectum or abdominal area. You may also experience gas pains or stomach cramps and feel bloated or full all the time even if you have not eaten recently. The abdominal pain in colorectal cancer can be due to partial or complete obstruction of bowel or evasion of the cancer into the peritoneum. Another sign of colon cancer is unexplained anemia. It is due to cancer related to chronic blood loss which decreases the oxygen carrying cells in our body. So if you are anemic, you may find that you are tired, weak and may experience fatigue which improves upon resting. Swollen abdominal mass can be palpable on the right lower quadrant of abdomen. Here you can see the abdomen is divided into four quadrants. So here is the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, right lower quadrant and left lower quadrant. So if the tumor is in the right lower quadrant, it may be palpable in some patients. Next important sign is tenesmus, which is a feeling or sensation of urge to defecate and also a sensation of incomplete defecation. Other possible signs of colon cancer are unexplained weight loss which means you are losing weight without trying. Next is vomiting due to blockage and decreased gastrointestinal motility. Some patients may experience fever. Now let's discuss about the signs and symptoms of advanced disease or when the cancer metastasizes in other distant organ. The cancer can spread into liver via portal vein. In that case, you can see liver enlargement or hepatomegaly and jaundice-like symptoms. It can spread to lung and cause breathing problems. It can also spread through lymph node, 
इन दैट केस यू कैन सी लिम्फेटिनोपैथी और सुपरा क्लेबिकुलर लिम्फ नोट एनलाजमेंट बट मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम्स कोलॉन कैंसर डजेंट कॉज सिम्टम अंटिल इट हैज ग्रोन और स्प्रेड दे फोर इट इज बेस्ट टू बी स्क्रीन फॉर कैंसर बिफोर हैविंग एनी सिम्टम्स एस्पेशली इफ यू हैव एनी फैमिली हिस्ट्री ऑफ कैंसर कोलोरेक्टल कैंसर वेन डायग्नोस्ड अर्ली थ्रू स्क्रीनिंग बिफोर यू हैव सिम्टम्स माइट बी इजियर टू ट्रीट Screening can also prevent colorectal cancers by finding and removing the precancerous growth called polyps. All right, so that's all for today. Hope you liked our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.